So we said it earlier, pretty soon the weather is going to turn down right cold, so why not take advantage of these warm days now while we have them? Yeah, our next guest would love nothing more than for you to hop on a mountain bike and go for a ride. Traz Denk is the president of the Eastern Shore International Mountain Bike Association. Welcome to the show. Thanks for having First me. First of all, I got to ask you, what is this association? Tell us about it. Uh, so we're an Eastern Shore chapter of the International Mountain Bike Association. So we became a charter in 2011. Uh, we were lucky enough to be attending an event in Delaware, uh, Delaware Trail Spinners put on, and the corporation was tabling. They had just started to offer charters. We were one of the first 18 groups to join. And uh, when I was telling people what I wanted to do, insurance was the main thing I had to have. So ultimately, we build the trails themselves, and we teach people how to be safe when they're doing that, helping us. And then, of course, we ride them. You're oh. a big advocate of biking trails. Yes, I'm a big bicycle advocate. Uh, when I come out of the woods, I meet a lot of people that uh, wouldn't expect to have trails locally. And when they say, you know, mountain biking at the beach, what's going on with that? I say, you know, uh, moving mountains is tough. You should try building them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so why is it important to you? So they're safer than the road in that there's no vehicles. But um, ultimately, it was a uh, sport that I picked up after I moved to the beach, where mm -hmm. I grew up in southern Pennsylvania. Uh, bicycles hadn't been invented that were for mountain biking until I, I lived at the beach. I had a cruiser, and when I saw mountain bikes, they just were a beach bike with gears. And I knew I could stay ahead of the buses. And for about 15 years, I rode up and down the highway, coastal highway, uh, enjoying bike riding. Uh, one of my roommates along the way decided to take me mountain biking. He said, you have this mountain bike. I'm from Cumberland. You're coming with us. And mm. I just, I had the time of my life. The bike completely was broken and I took it back to Continental and I said, what do I do with this? And they said, there's two things, stop riding it or pay us to take care of it. And I did. And I've been a mountain biker ever since. How about that? Safety is a big deal to you, isn't it? It is. It's very important. Yeah, off it. Safety okay. First. So what uh Sunday is a big day. What is Sunday? Yeah. Sunday we do uh it's our ninth annual Take a Kid Mountain Biking Day. Ah. So before we were even incorporated incorporated, I'd always been a member of IMBA, um, just to, you know, financially help them build the mountain bike trails. Um so on Sunday we will have stations set up where we teach kids uh how to use their helmets properly how to position themselves with their bicycle. We teach them, uh, basically I call it the one, two, three, and ABC, so air brake and chain, A for air, obviously, and we deflate their tire, re-inflate it, uh, make sure the brakes work properly, check the chain. We have a few extra bikes, so if you know if they don't meet the standards and, they, and we're ready to go, we'd let them use our bikes. And then um, the one, two, three is your eyes up, looking for obstacles and avoid them. You always want one finger on each brake, and you want to keep your, le your pedals level, one, mm. one general uh, thing that people do wrong is they have one foot down. Right. Sure. Which leads to pedal strikes and can cause, uh, uh, you're not balanced. You want to stay balanced when there's an emergency, you have to be ready for it. If someone's cutting you off, say you are riding on the road, uh, as well as uh, when those trees come out and jump, uh, jump out at you. Because they do that. Oh, they come right they at do. you sometimes. Okay, so where's this going on? <laughs> Uh, the YMCA in Pocomo. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, oh, uh, yeah, they have nice almost, trails there. Yes, yes. We've been working on the trails since about 2009 is when we started. Mm -hmm. And they're very uh, open to us having the trails there. They're, you know, very hospitable. Thank awesome. you so much, Chaz, for coming in and talking Thanks about it. Thanks for having us. Like I appreciate it. It sounds like a great it. time. Yeah, it's going to be fun. On Sunday.